Hi everyone, welcome to Wiggles, Jiggles, and Giggles. I'm Miss Wendy, and um, I'm gonna be with you for four weeks with stories about spring themes and songs and activities. We did have winter wonders, but winter is gone, so it's out of here, and it's all about spring. So open up your package if you haven't already and take out your scarf, and we're going to have a scarf song to begin with. Let me set up that song for us, and we can get going. Okay, here we go. Shake your scarves. Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Right knee, can you find your knee? Left knee. Shake your scarves, fancy free. Right knee, left knee. Shake your scarves, fancy free. Right hand. Left hand, shake your scars with the band. Right hand, left hand, shake your scars with the band. On your back, on your tummy, shake your scars nice and funny. On your back, on your tummy, shake your scars nice and funny. Scarves up, scarves down. Put your scarves on the ground. We're gonna clap. Okay, very good. Let's switch over CDs while I have the CD player on. We're not going to be doing egg shaker song this time. We have rhythm sticks for the next four sessions. So a little bit later, you can pull out your rhythm sticks. In the meantime, our stories are about ducks this week. So our first story is Always Twins by Terry Widener. Let's see. Lily and Olivia are twins. Wherever they go, they hear. You two are just alike. Yes, we are, says Olivia. Just alike, says Lily. But Olivia likes to jump in the mud, quack at bugs, and race everywhere. Let's see. Pages are sticking. Lily likes to make daisy chains, gaze at clouds, and study everything. Sometimes these pastimes don't mix well. Lily shouts, Olivia, you should stop barging around. Olivia shouts, Lily, you should start barging around. Then a dragonfly says, you two are just alike. And the twins get mad. No, we're not, says Lily. Not one bit, says Olivia. Olivia looks for a place where Lily will never go. Not ever, ever. Lily sits and fumes. She does not look for Olivia. Not at all. After a while, though, Lily starts to feel lonely. Olivia, she calls, Olivia. It is very quiet. Then she hears, Lily? A voice comes from the leaves. I'm here, Lily. Lily looks up. Oh my, you are really high, Olivia. I can't get down, says Olivia. Oh no, says Lily. Then I'll have to come up. Lily is scared but she climbs up anyway. 
That was so brave, Lily, says Olivia. Thank you, Olivia, says Lily. But how will we ever get down, Olivia asks. Lily steps carefully and says, let me look. I'll look too, says Olivia. Suddenly, there is a loud crack. I've got you, Lily, calls Olivia. I've got you, Olivia, calls Lily. Down, down, the twins fall. They hit the water with a big spot. Are you all right, asks a frog? Yes, sputters Lily. I think so, gurgles Olivia. The frog blinks. Wow, you two are just alike. Sometimes we are, says Olivia. And sometimes we aren't, says Lily. But we're always twins, say Lily and Olivia. Always, always twins. That was very nice listening. Thank you. So this week, our flannel board, you have a pond and the mama duck and baby ducks. So go ahead and get that out. If you don't already, you can pause the video and put your ducks on the pond. And when you're ready, you can start the video again. So this is a song. If you know it, you can sing it with me. Otherwise, you might start singing a little bit later. So if you're ready, five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. So you're going to peel off a duck. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Pick another duck off. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Pick up another duck. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Sad mother duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Sad mother duck said quack, 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 and all of the five little ducks came back. Put your duckies back on. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. There you go. So you can set that to the side and get out your rhythm sticks. So you might have different colors. Oops, where's my other rhythm stick? Got one but that doesn't matter. You can use a pencil, you can use whatever, and I'm gonna use a pencil, that's my other one. So let's get that song going. Okay. It's time to make some weather rhythms. Get out your sticks or claves or two chopsticks, or you can even they do are. it with your hands. Ready? I like sunshine. I like sunshine, I like sunshine, I like sunshine. But then a little rain begins to fall, softly at first, getting louder and louder until it's a thunderstorm. Boom, 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 boom. Let's make some lightning in the sky. Rub your sticks together. And then the wind starts to blow. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And it turns icy cold, icy cold, icy cold, icy cold, 
Icy cold, icy cold, icy cold, icy cold. And then the rain turns into snow, which makes no sound at all. Make the snow come down. Okay, make the snow come down to the ground. Use your fingers. Then the wind comes along and it blows the snow around. Whoosh. And the snow turns back into rain, harder than first, but getting softer and softer until it's just a gentle pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat. And then the sun comes out. Like the sun. I like sunshine. I like sunshine. I like sunshine. I like sunshine. And when the sun comes out, just as the rain is ending, what do you think happens? a beautiful <gasps> rainbow like a appears in the sky. Bow above your head. Make the rainbow with your sticks or your hands. And one puff of the wind <gasps> Blow away. blows the rainbow away. <sighs> Very good. Good. And that's the weather for today. So we'll do that again next week. We're not going to be using our egg shakers this time. We're going to be using rhythm sticks, so we'll do that a couple times. Okay, on to our next story. And this story is Little Quack by Lauren Thompson. Lauren Thompson wrote a couple of books for Little Quack. So if you like this one and you want to hear or read more, call the library and we'll get those for you. Okay, let's see. Mama Duck had five little ducklings, Whittle, Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. They all lived together in a nice, soft nest. But even Mama's littlest duckling was not so little anymore. It's time to leave the nest, she said one day. Come, little ducklings, Mama called on the water with me. The five little ducklings squeezed close in the nest. No, Mama, no, they cried. We're too scared. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. All at once, Whittle felt very brave. She jumped into the pond. Splish! Look, she cried. Look at me. Now four little ducklings snuggled close in the nest. Come, little ducklings, Mama called again. Paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. Then Waddle felt very brave. He plopped into the pond, splash! Hooray, he cried, hooray for me. Now three little ducklings clung close in the nest. Come, little ducklings, Mama called again. Paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Piddle Puddle and Little Quack. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. Then Piddle for a moment felt very brave. She wiggled into the water, sploosh. It's fun, she cried. It's lots of fun. Now two little ducklings cuddled close in the nest. Come little ducklings, Mama called. Paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Puddle and Little Quack. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. Atlas Puddle felt very brave too. He leaped into the water, splosh. Wait, he cried, wait for me. That just, that left just one little duckling in the nest. Just one little quack. Little duckling mama called once more. 
paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, cried Little Quack. I'm scared, I'm just too scared. You can do it, Mama said. We know you can, said Whittle, Waddle, Piddle, and Puddle. Little Quack looked at the water. He sniffed the water. He touched the water with his foot. Could he do it? Did he dare? Suddenly, Little Quack felt just brave enough. He closed his eyes, then splish, splash, sploosh, splosh, into the water he plunged. I did it, he cried. I really did it. I always knew you could, Mama said. Then off they went, five little ducklings, proud as can be, whittle, waddle, piddle, puddle, and brave little quack. Just loved little quack. He was so brave. So now it's getting a little bit warmer out and you might be able to go to the park and there's ponds and you might see ducks. And though it's tempting to take bread out for the ducks, it's not a good idea because they can digest it like our tummies do and it could make them sick. And if they don't eat it, then it's gonna sit there and all the ingredients that are baked into it, it's gonna be floating on the water and it could still make them sick and it can make the fish sick too. So if you really want to feed the animals there, if you have uncooked corn, you could take that and throw it out and they're just gonna gobble that up. In your packets this week, your art project, you'll have a canvas and some blue paint and some duckies and a little sponge paint brush. And you just paint your canvas blue for the water. And I know it's really hard to wait and let it dry, but it has to dry before you can add your ducks and your pond fronds. And then you can put them wherever you want. And it's a good idea if you're grown up, put your name and the date on the back and then you'll remember that. Let's see what else. In your bag, you also have your bibliography for duck books. So you and your grown-up can look through that. If there's some more duck books that you would like to listen to, they can phone us and we'll put them aside or they can go online and request those. And your recipe this week, ducks in a pond snack, it's actually a rice cake and blueberry yogurt. And if you want to make it more blue, you just add some blue food coloring. But you don't even have to do all that. You do have your quack and bites. So you have some quack duck crackers. So you can just eat those if you want to. And that's about it for this week, my little friends. Next week, our stories are going to be about flowers and gardening. So you know, hopefully we can get out more into the spring and enjoy that weather. So let's get our scarf out and we're going to put our final scarf song on. Let's get that CD set up. And we are ready to go. Scarves up and down and around. The scarves are softly flowing, left, right, left. The scarves are softly flowing, left, right, left. Up and down and Oh, 
softly flowing left, right, left, up and down and around, up and down and around, up and down, up and down, up and down and around. The scarves are softly floating. to the ground, release them up in the air, watch them float to the ground, up and down and around, up and down and around, up and down, up and down, up and down and Until next week, my little friends, hopefully you can get out there and enjoy the weather and hope the sun is shining out by you. And until then, take care.